This video was brought to you by Yamaha Proven Off-Road ATVs and Side-by-Side -side Vehicles. Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas and right now I'm going to show you three different ways to tie in a peep sight on your bow, depending on which method you like the best. All you need are a couple different peeps, some serving, a knife, and a lighter and you're good to go. Before we get started, if you could like, share, and subscribe, that really would help the channel. Now let's get going. So method number one is the one I primarily use for my target bows. And all I do is I grab a couple feet of serving, maybe two and a half feet, and I take about three inches of it and I stick it through the top here, just enough so it rests in there. I'm not really trying to do anything else. And then from here on, I'm just going to try to go over that tag end a little bit, maybe with, maybe with four or five turns. Try to count them out as best I can. There's five. Then I'm going to take that, lift that tag end up a little bit. Every few turns, I'll cinch it down a little. Three. There's eight there. Call that nine. Maybe ten total. Eh, let's go twelve, just for fun. Okay, there's there's twelve ends on the top, and now. I'm just going to come down one side towards the peep. So I'll do my first knot in there. I'm just going to cinch it in tight to kind of hold off that other serving in place. Try to keep a little pressure on it. And I usually will do five or six half loops here um, down this side of the string. and try to evenly space them as best I can. Help if I kept that string a little tighter. I don't think there's a set distance you need to keep between the spaces. But you'll try to do the same amount of a uh, the same amount of loops here on the on the top as I'm going to do on the bottom on the other side when I get to that in a minute. There's one, there's all right, I think I need about one more on this. I have a very clean cut there, which would be make life a little bit easier. Okay. That gives me that one, two, three, four, five, six loops on there. And now all I do is I'll kind of come across here one and a half times again trying to leave pretty keep that fairly tight on the peep there we go and now I'm just going to do the same thing on the bottom end as I did on the top so I'm going to do one up there just cinch it in tight and then do some half loops on here as well. Yeah, a cleaner cut there would have been much nicer for this process, but you get the idea. There we go. And now I'm just going to start wrapping here. I did 12 loops on the front, so I'm going to do about, I'm going to start off with about six here at the bottom. Two, three, every few, few turns, snuck it down. One, two, and three. So once I get my six here, I'm gonna give myself a few, about, I'm gonna bring the loop around the back here and do a little back serving. So I'm gonna do six loops this way. Three, four, five, and six. Lay it down there. And I'm just gonna wrap the opposite way as I just did. And six. And now I use my tag end to pull that tight. Cinch it in. You can pull fairly tight, just don't want to break it. Do the same thing with that top one. Pull it tight. Now I just cut off my tag ends. Careful not to cut my string. And 
I burn the ends up. This one over here as well. And that's method number one. That's the one I primarily use in my target bows. I kind of just like how it looks with the serving going along the sides. My second way to tie in a peep sight is the one I learned at the first time I went to a bow shop when I got a bow set up. And the, the guy at the tech did it much the same way I did the first one over there. You grab 18 inches, 24 inches of, uh, of serving, put the tag in through here, do a couple of quick wraps. Two, three, four. That's probably enough for there. Tighten that up real good. Tighten this up real good there. And then we'll come back and do five, six, seven, eight. More or less. The numbers aren't specific, but there's a there's 12 on there for now. And now what I'm going to do is going to back serve it much the same way you saw in the first one, except we're just going to do it the top half. So I'm, I'm going to do, again, a few loops over here. Two, three, four, five, six, let's go seven. And then I'm gonna lay that down. And again, we're gonna unwrap it just the same way we did the last one. Three, four. I'm using slightly thicker serving than I would normally use just so I can hopefully give you a better idea of what I'm doing. I usually like to use a fairly thin uh, black serving but this one I hope will stand out a little more on camera and so after you after you back serve it there you just kind of pull it through and then tighten it up and then the top half is done and again much the same way I'm gonna cut off my two tag ends fairly close to the string and we'll burn those down there we go the bottom side is literally just going to be exactly what we did on the top, just opposite. So again, we'll take our, take our tag end, put it through a little bit, and then just wrap a couple times towards the peep once. Oops, sorry, twice. Three. Four. Get, this, get that tag end of the way, tighten them up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, I think six, and seven. I think, this, I think seven is what I did. I just, I can keep better track than I'm doing here for the video. I'm just trying to give you an example. So now, and now I'm just going to go over here and back serve that the same way we did over this way. We came this side. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lay that down. Then we start our unwinding process. Two, three, four, five. Take our tag end. Oops. Keep it taut and pull it through, nice and tight. And once again, we'll snip off our tag ends. Burn our ends, and we're pretty much good to go. Um, because I have once had a peep sight fly off uh, when I've shot it and it poked me in the eye, I also like to just make sure everything's going to be okay, and I will uh, I will also tie in this separately as well. Um, and I'll probably just do, you know, I'll probably do three knots on there or two knots. There we go. Keeping the groove of the peep. There's just a little bit of added insurance for uh, just to make sure you don't get yourself in any trouble again. And again, you would just, same thing, cut off the two tag ends away from the string so you don't cut the string. Give a little heat. And 
there you go. That's method number two. So this is, again, this is the one I first learned at the bow shop. I don't really use it much anymore, but it's a, it's a really solid method to keep the peep sight in place. The third and final method to tie in a peep sight is the one I've learned most recently. I picked this up, I don't know, a year or two ago from a Tim Gillingham video. And I've really liked how simple this one is. Uh, it's the easiest one to use to, for, to put in for me. Um, and I, I like to use it on hunting bows a lot, especially my own personal hunting bows. Um, so all you do is you can grab two feet of serving. And I like to tie it around my peep a couple of times. Make sure I got the links relatively close here. So I do it once around the bottom, once around the top, another half around the bottom. So you're staying in the grooves, and another one around the top. And I usually do a double up here because I find it just holds in place really well. Oops. Twisted it a little bit there. My string has three peep sights in it, and it's not behaving as well as I would like. Anyway. So that's the that's the beginning of this thing, and from here on out, it's a it's just a series of half hitches. Um, so I'll come up one side, and I'll put in probably a half dozen half hitches. So and snug them down nice and tight. I'm not gonna put them too tight because I gotta take them off this bow later. Uh, and the the main method, I don't, main reason I don't like using this bow this method on test bows is that these are very difficult to remove. All of these little half hitches. Um, the, the, the peep stays just rock solid in place, but it can be very difficult to remove it after you've done all the work. So I'm trying to tighten it too much. If this was the bow I was, if, if I was keeping it on this bow, I would definitely cinch these down a little harder than I'm doing. Not hard enough to break the string, but very taut. And we'll give it one more just for fun. And there you go. That's uh, that's the, the top half done. And now you just do this, the uh, the same thing on the opposite half on the bottom. So again, I'll do my first one over here. Then I'll then I'll cinch in nice and tight up top there, so it doesn't lose its uh, so it stays in place rather. And then follow that with another five or six more. Just simple half hitches. It is the easiest way to tie in a peep sight that is almost guaranteed not to move on you if you if you're cinching it up a little bit tighter than I am right now. I'll just do two more in here real quick. Now you want to make sure you're doing the exact same amount on the top and the bottom. I'm not keeping the track I should be here right now, but I think I'm within one. Then that's it. We're done on this one. Just trim it away from the string so we don't burn it, so we don't hit the string rather. Boom, a little burn there, a little burn there. And that's method, method three is complete. All right, archery talk. That's it for me. Uh, that's the, this is I've now got this Hoyt Prevail outfitted with three different peep sights, so I'm going to go out in the range and see if anybody notices. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.